Josh, you look exhausted. Didn't you sleep last night? You would think with my eight-hour flight here yesterday that I would be well rested, oh, no. but no, I did not. Oh, I sorry. woke up in a cold sweat. Why? I was dreaming about plumbing a transducer with an 04 SAE male thread oh, to God. a 36 millimeter metric fitting attached to a pressure port of a directional valve. A nightmare in the best situations. Wow, you even dream about fluid power. What what gives you this nightmare? It's the insanity of multiple standards of fittings and adapters wow. that gives everyone, especially me, night terrors. Yes. I don't see uh, it changing anytime soon. The reality is that there are numerous fitting, hose, tube, adapting standards, and we simply must accept this reality uh, by stocking ridiculous quantities of adapters. Yes. Uh, if you visit any hydraulic distributor with a showroom at the order desk, you'll notice the unfair monopoly fittings has on their shelving real estate. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem, of course, isn't just the standards expressing different thread and diameter dimensions, but the manufacturers of the components of a hydraulic system can't agree on one standard. I guess I never really thought about it that way. So, so other than installing a dream catcher, how do you have... How can you avoid having these fitting nightmares? Yes, the first thing you should do is trash all your NPT ported products. Okay. A uh, tapered pipe thread has a 15 minutes of fame, but the practical use of these fittings is limited, mm -hmm. uh, and superior methods of joining components in plumbing exist. NPT is an all-metal connection which requires two tapered male uh, and female parts uh, that you must jam together as tightly as possible to get them to seal. And even then, there's no guarantee that it'll seal the second time these things are ever disassembled and put back together. But what if I don't use NPT fittings? What, how else can I avoid these kind of problems? Uh, standardizing with an O-ring type fitting uh, okay. is actually the best option. Mm -hmm. uh, another technique is to reduce the number of adapters you use by using manifolds and headers. Uh, if you need to tee off of a pressure port on a directional valve, for example, um, to add in a transducer, mm -hmm. why don't you use a small piece of drilled bar stock that has mm -hmm. the proper ports drilled in? Manufacturers like Damon or Lynch offer such products, and they allow you to add professional look to your plumbing uh, while decreasing adapter use. Okay. Uh, even a small block uh, with metric ports at either end can have a small SAE port drilled and tapped right in the top to accept the transducer directly. Okay. Uh, this option is especially beneficial to OEMs where production planning reduces the requirement um, for fast lead times. Well, this sounds great, Josh, but what happens if I need to make a fitting change in some sort of emergency? What, what about that kind of situation? A bit of homework ahead of time will okay. save both time and money. Um, with adapters by allowing two different threads to connect. Uh, I recommend getting to all your local fluid power distributors mm -hmm. who tend to stock the vast quantities of adapters. Idea. An SE24 male to a 3 JSE male adapter, for example, exists, but not everybody carries it. Mm -hmm. um, also, by limiting the number of fittings and connections you use on your machines, you can limit the requirement for silly adapters, such as those required in my earlier nightmare. Yeah. Uh, limiting your machines to say SAE and JSC may require that you replace your BSP or metric fittings that come on your European machine, for example. Um, it may cost a couple extra grand um, during installation, but you'd be thankful that you won't have to go out and find these adapters uh, when you do have a, a machine downtime that needs to be repaired, uh, which costs a lot of money. Sounds like a good plan. For more videos, please take a look at www.fluidpowerworld.com.